So here's the fast start bonuses. <clears throat> I didn't want any hidden money in the comp plan. I kind of wanted everything to be really straightforward. So as an agent in the company, so if you've sponsored zero people, you get 30% on all personal enrollees on your level one. On level two, <clears throat> I'm going to draw a line here. On level two, you have to be an agent three. So what an agent three is, is any three personally enrolled agents qualify you for these overrides. So you get 10% second level, 5% on the third level. At agent six, you can literally max out our comp plan. Okay? All you need is six personally enrolled to max out the whole comp plan. <clears throat> so agent six is just six personals. That opens up the fourth and the fifth levels at 3% fast start overrides and 2% fast start overrides. So in our, I'm telling you, this is going to be a very simple comp plan as we go through it. Everything's based around agent, agent three, and agent six. The majority of our comp plan comes straight into those. Six people maxes out everything. Are we good on that? Give me a thumbs up. Got it. Second part of our comp plan is probably the most unique because you don't really see a matrix that's designed quite like this. <clears throat> so the three by ten matrix looks something like this. Once again, level one, two, and three. All you have to be is an agent, okay? An agent defined is anyone that's recruited zero to two people, okay? They qualify for the first three levels of the matrix. So why is that unique? Because there's no sponsoring required to earn any part of the first three levels of our matrix. And those pay out 5%. 8% and 12%. So literally if someone recruited no one, okay, and they were with a builder and their team grew just by default with spillover, they can earn from three, these three levels $246.40 a month. $246.40 in a residual check with zero sponsoring requirements. So as an agent three, that opens up levels four, five, six, and seven. Okay? These levels pay 12%, 10 percent, 5 percent, and 5%. Okay? As an agent six, we have levels eight, nine, and ten. Those pay anywhere from half percent to two percent. What's the difference, you might ask? It's where you're ranked in the company. We'll talk about rank advancements in a minute. In a minute. These are called leadership levels. Okay, so it's based on your leadership position in the company of how much percentage you have opened up. If someone goes inactive in our matrix, just as in our enrollment lineage with all of our fast start money, check matching, and everything, we use dynamic compression. The computer automatically reads it, compresses everything up, so there's nothing missed to the distributors that have earned it. Are we good there? Thumbs up? We're good. Bob? <laughs> We're good. Okay. I guess we've lost Bob. 
No, he's right there. I see him. He gave okay. a thumbs up. Can you hear me, Dusty? I can. Yes, Tim. Okay. Yeah, Bob's there. He gave a thumbs up. You awake, Bob? <laughs> Next thing we're going to talk about is the check map. Another unusual part about check matching ten percent first level, five percent second level, five percent third level, three percent fourth level, and two percent on the fifth level. Now you check match not just the residual matrix money, but you also check match the luxury lifestyle bonuses, which is the next piece of our comp plan that we'll talk about. And you pers all your personally visionary and above that you have enrolled, you're check matching that enrollment lineage. Okay? And you can see the detail broken down right here on the comp plan. But I, once again, something unusual you're not just check matching fast starts. There's some other companies out there that say, oh, you're check matching coded bonuses. Well, that's based on enrollments. I want to check match somebody's residual paycheck. But you're not just check matching the matrix or the unit level like in most companies. Over here, you check match the matrix and their bonuses. Okay? We'll talk about bonuses in just a minute. So the next thing we got is the three for free. This is real simple. If you're a master travel agent, you need three master travel agents and you're free. Period. So that once you qualify agent three with three times your volume brought in, you're good. You don't have any overhead. Now, something unusual here is if that position goes free in our matrix, it's still paid out. So we pay on the free position. So we're still paying upline on all of the free spots that are located in, in the organization. is a luxury lifestyle bonuses. So I'm going to lay out our requirements and then I'm going to explain exactly what that looks like. So as an agent, this can be an agent, an agent three or an agent six. As an agent, you are zero to $14.99 in total business volume. As a visionary, you are 1500 in volume. As a wave runner, you are 5000 in volume. As a beach bum, you're 10000 in volume. As a navigator, you're 25,000 in volume. As an explorer, you're 50,000 in volume. As a jet setter, you're 100,000 in volume. As a tycoon, you're 250,000 in volume. And then we got one star, two star, three star, and ultimate type in. You got 500, 750, a million and two million in volume to receive those. So I'm gonna talk about the bonuses, but let me explain how the bonuses work first. The way our bonus structure works is it's paid out on the BV, so the residual BV plus all new BV. Why is that important? It's really important. 
because you can actually hit your luxury lifestyle bonus in the first month. You don't have to wait till the residuals start paying in the second month. The next thing that's important about it is we're including all new volume. So when somebody enrolls in the business at Master Travel Agent, that's 240 BV, okay? On the residual, everyone you have in there is 60 BV. It creates sustainability because you're able to not just use your BV on your residual to continue and maintain your rank, but you're able to advance quickly through our ranks because every 240, every new person is 240 in your BV. We do have a 40% rule here. What the 40% rule is, in your 3 by 10 matrix, you can't take more than 40% from one of those legs. So you have to have at least 40% coming from two legs and ideally 20%. But I mean, in a perfect world, you're going to do 33 and a third, 33 and a third, and 33 and a third. But no more than 40% can come from one of those legs. Okay? Yep. The actual bonuses for each position look something like this. It's 200 at Wave Runner, paid every single month. These are not one time, and they're not paid over just a certain amount of months. Every time you be qualified. 300 at Beach Bum, 500 at Navigator, $750 at Explorer, $1,000 at Jet Setter, $2,500 at Tycoon, $5,000 at One Star, $7,500 at Two Star, Ten thousand at three star, and twenty thousand at ultimate tycoon. Are we good there? Give a thumbs up. We're good. Bob. But Dave told me that I was grandfathered in at Ultimate, but I haven't gotten my 20K check yet. I don't know who told you that. <laughs> but they were confused, Tim. <laughs> if it makes any difference, I was told the same thing, and I didn't get it either. You didn't get it either? we got to talk to Dave about that. Yeah, I know. Our, our, my checkbook's going in the red quicker than anything. <laughs> So then we have retail travel sales. You, know, you make 80% of the vendor commission paid out. Um, so a quick explanation on that while we're here is if you have a $1,000 uh, cruise, and that's before port and tax fees, because port and tax aren't, they're not commissioned. Uh, no tax is commissioned in any vendor, as a matter of fact. So you have a $1,000 cruise, Let's say we're at 15% cruise rate, it's 150% commit, I mean $150 commission. Because we were at a 15% vendor commission. It's $150, 80% would be $120 going to the AD. Is that right? 80. Yep. That's right. 120 goes to the AD. At a master travel agent position. If we're good there, give me a thumbs up. Good. Bob's not giving any thumbs up. He's not happy. Yeah, I don't know why you can't see him. He's giving a thumbs up on everything. There's two oh. thumbs up. Nice. <laughs> All right, cool. The last pieces are my favorite pieces because I think they deliver a certain message and they create a culture. So I'm going to talk about the travel incentive first. Travel incentives is for, I'm going to go to the left side of my board here. For every 
thousand dollars in bookings, you get a share in our travel global profits. So if you sell five thousand dollars in travel, not in travel commissions, but in travel, then you get five shares in our global travel profits. Okay. So these are paid out on the month that that travel is booked. So in other words, if I book a trip for, this is December, so if I book, I mean this is November, but if I book a trip for January, and that trip goes in January, then you go into the January booking pool. In other words, we're paying this when the vendors pay us based on that commission. If that makes any sense, was well, it should make sense. Sure. But what it is is two and a half percent of our global travel profits. Two and a half percent. Then we have a two and a half percent enroller pool for the builders. So every three people. In a pay week. So every three new agents you get in a pay week. And our pay week runs from Saturday morning at 12.01 a.m. Pacific time. And it goes to Friday at midnight Pacific time. So any new three agents that you personally enroll gets you a share. in our enroller pool. If you enroll six, you get two shares. If you enroll 30, you get 10 shares. So for every three people, or every three new agents that come in, you get a piece of that pool. Well, let me explain what that pool would look like. So if we have a thousand new agents join the business, okay, that would be in BV, that would be 240,000 in BV in that week. We would take two and a half percent of that which would be six thousand. The six thousand? It would be six thousand. So that would be six thousand dollars that would go into our share pool. Okay, let's say out of that thousand, we had twelve people that all that put in three. So you would divide the six thousand by twelve, and it would be five hundred dollars per share. as a weekly bonus. We good there? We're good. We're good there. In a nutshell, that's our compensation plan. Doesn't take a mathematician to figure it. We're paying out a lot of money. Like I told y'all yesterday, do we have the best one? I don't know. I haven't seen all comp plans in our industry. 